Hi everyone and welcome back. Uh, this is uh, I am Spoon with a second game in our series. Um, today I'm bringing you a um, slightly different game than the first game. Um, the main difference is it's going to be three player game instead of the, the four player games. Uh, now I'm a bit less experienced in three player games uh, but uh, it's still a good game here and a lot of learnings and um, a couple of differences that I also want to highlight compared to four player games. And yeah, let, let's get started. Um, this is a fairly fast game. We played this in uh, 60 or 70 minutes so it went quite fast. People were actively playing, not overthinking every move, so that's always fun. And um, let's look at the merchant layout first. Uh, we have um, the wild uh, merchant here, we have the cotton on the left. So cotton is potentially playable here, like if you have a Kidderminster, Wooster, Birmingham card ideally. If you start with uh, those three cards, for example, cotton is very playable. Um, we also have a pottery up north, which potentially makes pottery playable on Stoke-on-Trent and, and Stafford. Um, and uh, we have the crates here. Of course, this is a three-player game, which means there's nothing in, in Nottingham, no pun intended. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, let's, let's start. And uh, let me look as well at, um, at uh, my own cards here uh, at the very beginning. Now, um, I actually already developed the way uh, at the very start. Uh, but, you know, um, <clears throat> let, let's look already at the cards I have. And as you can see, there's a lot of uh, iron cards. So I have two industries for iron but also Dudley, Valsall, uh, two iron locations that are present. So I have a, a, a lot of iron cards and therefore I decide to, to play around that here in, in the canal and to go for um, probably a standard uh, beer and iron play with the level two crates to, to support. Uh, so I start myself by developing a way. Um, this is probably like one of the most uh, generic openings you can do. Um, um, good first moves, by the way, is loaning or developing. I think both are, are acceptable and, and this is generally what you want to start with in let's say 95-99% of all cases. Uh, there's no reason to do anything else in that. Um, yeah and um, the other players are both loaning and uh, um, yeah great great does um, I think here a very standard thing to uh, offset uh, the loan as he is at minus three income he builds uh, a canal and then uh, iron mine. And this is quite efficient way of offsetting your loan. And ideally you offset your loans within, I mean, ideally in the, in the, within the same term as your loan, you, you sell something to cancel out to the, the, the reduced income. In practice, this is hard to pull off, uh, especially at the beginning. So it's typically one turn later as uh, Gray has now done. Uh, now purple <clears throat> uh, is gonna develop away. So they lose the tree income, the, this is gonna stay, but as the price of iron is really low, this, this offsets, uh, and I think this is very acceptable. So developing a way here, the two beers and coal and the level one iron. So um, seems to be a beer centric strategy, but unlike most strategies, uh, beer strategies where people go for crates, maybe he's planning something else. Um, I see here uh, an opportunity to loan and instantly sell. So uh, I loan and instantly build my iron, canceling out uh, the, the minus three of the loan. So this means this loan really netted me 30 cash and, and not 27 as it, often in practices. Um, yeah, now <clears throat> the first uh, building you place down is, is yeah, it can be quite important because uh, often then you're a bit tied to, to this region, you will need to build canals around it. Um, if you need buildings that need coal, you will you will have to kind of uh, work from there. Um, and uh, for me, starting in Colebrookdale, it, it is nice because I get to profit from the canal that uh, Gray built for me. I don't need to build any canal myself. Uh, however, it, it, it's a bit unfortunate because when you have so many iron cards, you really want to play around Birmingham. That's the place where there's a lot of iron mines. So you want to play there if you're going for an iron strategy. And uh, here purple is doing uh, something a bit strange. Um, he's still at minus three income and I, I think he should just build an iron mine to offset his minus three income, um, potentially in Stoke on Trent or, or Birmingham or whatever. Um, I don't know exactly what cards he has, but it, it, <clears throat> it is a bit strange for me that you would open the beers here and let me explain why. Uh, you will need to offset this loan, so you will need to connect to a market to build the iron, or potentially uh, connect to the market and build the coal. That's that's also acceptable. But here you, you're kind of a bit stuck if you start here. Um, maybe he has the Colebrookdale card and plans to build coal here, and th then it would be totally fine what he's doing. But um, it turns out he actually hasn't, and and then he, he's going to drag this minus three income for for a while. Um, I'm also challenging a bit here building in. Utok Cedar. I know it's a very popular location to build beer, 
but when you really think of it, this is uh, not the ideal location. He has a beer cart, so he could have built anywhere. He could have built, for example, in Valsall or in, in um, Derby, and uh, I, I think, it, or in Burton on Trent. This would have been much better locations. I like <clears throat> intuitively the first thing that comes up to me is to build in Valsall. Um, you want your beer to be accessible also for other players in Canal, so that other players can make use of your beer and flip it for you. Uh, this is this is really nice. Um, that way you you kind of don't need to flip it yourself. Uh, in a beer strategy, the strength really comes from the beer, not from the industries. A level two beer is, is stronger than a level two um, crate. A level two crate gives only one income versus five. It's also a bit more expensive, etc. So the strength of beer strategies is really in the beer. So you want to have your beer accessible so that others could potentially make use of it. And also you want to, especially if it's your first building, you want to place it in a spot where you're afterwards easily able to access other locations to build iron, to build uh, coal. And uh, yeah, I think Valsal would have been fairly natural, but a good case to, to be made to, for Derby as well, as you then afterwards will be able to connect to Nottingham at the start of rail. Uh, but building here in Utok Cedar, I, I find it just a bit strange. You're, you're basically locking yourself up. Um, yeah, I, I know that you're guaranteed to make use of your own beer, uh, by doing this, but um, I, I don't think that's that's the, the main point here. Um, so at this stage, uh, purple still has a negative income, and uh, th this will drag on a while. Um, and uh, Gray now uh, has a couple of options. He hasn't developed, hasn't really committed to any strategy. This is a, a very open strategy where you can just kind of uh, loan, build iron, offset to offset the loan and, and continue like this. And here, uh, Gray is committing, he's going for a level one pottery. So this could be a pottery play where you try to get the, the level one um, here in Stafford and then the level three in Stockholm Trent, for example, and uh, build two beers, two level two beers, and then sell. And this is in my guide I call a strategy two, like a beer and pottery combination. Uh, it rarely works, you need to have the right cards for it, you need to have the right merchant setup, but it seems uh, actually uh, Teal here has the right cards and the right setup to do it. Uh, he could also pivot into just a beer strategy where you build uh, level two beers and some level one industries just to flip them. Uh, that's a strategy uh, that I played in previous game. I called it to the to level uh, three strategy, mass out beer. Uh, it is also completely playable and, and, and Teal could still pivot into this. Uh, yeah. And uh, from my side here, um, building the, the level three iron and uh, I'm thinking I could maybe even get the level four iron out in Canal, which is very strong. It's it's nine points, it will score double, so it's basically 18 points. Now you need to score um, <coughs> five points per turn to be competitive, right? So so uh, getting uh, uh, this building out is very, very worthwhile. Now, as a minus side, it does leave you a bit open to overbuilding. And uh, yeah, in my experience, if you build a level four iron, you, you're very much at risk of being overbuilt. Um, so here purple is surprises me once more. Um, building a level one pottery here. Uh, this is annoying for Gray, who, who actually wanted to go uh, for a pottery strategy. Um, but I mean, it's not lost yet, you can totally pivot. But uh, what's, what's surprising me uh, with uh, purple is that they end up at, I mean, they're already at minus three income, but, and, and they end up at the end of this turn, I think at minus uh, six income. So um, basically uh, bleeding a lot of money here and uh, still no way to, to build coal somewhere or iron to offset this negative. You know, if he had the Colebrookdale card, it would be perfect now. He would loan and then build the, the coal and, and he would get positive income. But here, uh, yeah, I think this is just a misplay. With the cards, where he started and then I'm building this one, it's getting a bit tricky here for purple, uh, bleeding so much money. And your first building can really be very important as, as you sometimes end up stuck playing around that or, or very much dependent on other players, uh, uh, as you can see here with uh, with purple. Um, now, uh, once you reach a, a bit of a higher level, it uh, it becomes important to keep track a bit of the cards and the card counts. And uh, for example, here I have the Valsal card, which is this location. There is only one card for this location. So um, I have it. I'm pretty certain I'm the only one that can build here. I mean, of course, other players, if they do a scouting action, they can build here as well, or if they connect with canals and, and with an industry card, they could still build here. <clears throat> but um, Valsal only has one card, and same with Nuniaton. Um, and most locations have two cards. Birmingham, of course, has more. And uh, yeah, I think once you're at a higher level, you, you might want to start keeping track of those cards um, to, to see you know what is still potential there. Um, if you link to a certain city, if you link to Valsal, are you maybe helping out someone else if, in case there would be two Valsal cards? Uh, 
<clears throat> now in this case there's only one Valsal card and I have it so I there, there's no such fear but yeah um, now here uh, Till is um, doing a scouting action I criticized in my previous video scouting actions I think too many players do it too often in four players uh, in three players it, it is actually a bit different um, as I explained if, you, if you're able to score off towards 10 points to, to kind of compensate for the fact that you had a turn where you didn't score any points uh, scouting can be can be worthwhile and uh, in three players the, the cards for Derby and Vulper are out, and especially Derby, it's an important location. It's a very strong location. In four players, it's, it's, it's one of the most important locations. It has beer, it has iron, you can connect immediately to the market. You then get access to the, the in rail to these very valuable links around uh, Derby and Utok Cedar. This is like the beer country. And um, in, in that sense, uh, uh, scouting gives you access to those locations. And, and I think in three players, I'm less critical of scouting. And uh, we'll see Teal make good use of the scouts, actually, that he, he's doing. Um, Teal here then overbuilds his Iron Mine. Uh, now, ideally, it flips immediately, uh, but in this case, he, he develops and it basically uh, flips it that way. So if you, if you build Iron, in an optimal case, you're able to consume that Iron quickly thereafter so that you profit from the low prices that you induced. Uh, and same in, in Rail, when you build a Coal Mine, ideally, you, you then build Rails or Double Rate to drive back up the Coal price. And uh, that way, the other players do not profit from the from the low prices. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm continuing here very standard break strategy. Uh, so with uh, two level two uh, crates in support, with the idea that I build two level two crates, two level two beers, as much iron as I can, and uh, flip uh, at the end with a sell action. Um, now, uh, th there's two ways to play this. There is a low eco mode, uh, like very low income mode, where you completely ignore coal and just go for iron, uh, scoring massive amounts of points. Uh, and that's what I'm doing this game, and I want to show this, because I, I, I don't see many players do it, but it's actually really strong and totally uh, totally viable, actually, to, to, to basically stay at zero or around zero income. Uh, the whole game, pretty much, uh, you, you will see I'm, I'm rarely uh, positive, or I think I never exceed three income, and uh, even in the rail era, I end up negative. Uh, but uh, this is this is totally viable. Um, the, the idea is that yeah, coal gives lots of income, but not many points. Uh, iron is, gives a lot of points. So the, the level three, the level four iron, if you're able to get them out in um, in canal, they're really really valuable. Um, so here, um, purple is doing another develop. So this is the third develop they're doing, and, and this this I'm not really sure this this makes sense. Uh, the strength of beer is that. You only need one develop to really get going. You need to develop away your level one beers, and then you're basically good to go. Of course, you benefit from a second develop, developing away, let's say, a uh, level one iron and the level one crate, as I did, or, or, or these two. But you only really need one develop to get going. And so here, to develop a third time to unlock the level two crates, it, it seems a bit weird. And uh, also, uh, let me slow down a bit here. It, it seems that purple, to offset their negative income, that, that they were bleeding so much money at minus six and still not building any iron or any coal, which is really weird when you think of it because he developed them away and then doesn't make use of it. Um, so basically he, he sold his pottery up north and flipped the beer for it. Um, so um, th that's that's inefficient. Selling doesn't give you any points, so you want to only do one sell ideally, just to sell all your, all your buildings at once. And uh, in Canal, I, I think in 99% of all cases, you end up doing one cell action, typically the, the on the last turn, uh, as you will see uh, me do. Um, so, so here clearly, yeah, purple with this with this weird start where they're just bleeding so much money now they're forced to sell to, to stop this, the bleeding, and, and this is really painful. And from my side here, I'm building my uh, level four iron. Uh, it cost me, uh, I think, 15, but it gives me 15 back. It instantly flips. So this basically costs me nothing. And gives me nine points plus another nine points because it will score twice. So at this stage, I'm, I'm very far ahead in points. Of course, other players could coordinate now. Uh, I don't have any irons left, so they could drive up the price and then overbuild my level three iron. And uh, that's kind of what I'm expecting to happen normally. Uh, yeah. And uh, let's also have a look at the canals. I said uh, in previous video and in my guide, don't build too many canals. Canals are often not that that valuable. And now that I'm playing three players games, I, I realize it's even less valuable in three player than in four player. Uh, when you think of it, this is four points, this is three points, this is two points, this is uh, four points. So very weak. In four players, five to six points canals are, are feasible. Um, but uh, it seems that in, in, in three players, it's just very hard to get good points. And you want to score five points per turn. 
you want to make money on top of it, you want to gain board game presence for the start of rail, and the canal, it does nothing basically of that. So if it doesn't score uh, five, arguably six points, it really isn't a good canal. You should only build the minimum uh, to get away kind of with, with your build. Um, and these players here, they, they really understand that. They're not building excessive amount of canals, just a strict minimum. So uh, Gray Teal here, sorry, has already uh, three canals. Uh, I have three canals here. And purple has at the moment, I think, only one canal. Or it's building a second one now. And uh, in four player games, you want to have, I mean, you will need two to three canals just to get your build going. And ideally, you keep it at that, unless you really are able to build a canal that's six points. And then I would say, go ahead, build it. Um, but uh, in, three to f in three player games, you have a bit more actions. And there's, uh, it's a bit harder to feed off other people's uh, network because uh, there's just less other people. So you often end up being forced, I think, to build three to four canals instead of two to three in a four-player game. Um, from my side, I have four actions left here. I don't have a lot of money. I think I end up uh, loaning. I'm at minus one, so I'm basically bleeding a little bit of money every turn, uh, completely ignoring coal. So it, it's it's uh, yeah, it's like a natural if you go for an iron strategy that uh, your income stays very low. Uh, but uh, I'll, I'll do a couple of loans ahead of rail to, to go into rail with a good amount of cash. Um, purple here ends up building towards Coventry and then building a coal mine. And um, I mentioned this in my previous video, you, you don't want to do thank you moves. You don't want to build canals that help other players more than they help yourself. Uh, I'm not really sure why purple did this. Uh, I think with, I mean, if I were purple, I would uh, try to, um, to get my level two crate out, an extra beer out, and flip both of them, uh, it would give lots of points uh, ahead of um, uh, ahead of uh, rail. But but here, I'm not really sure what the points of building in Coventry. Uh, the Coventry cards are still in the game. If he's counting cards, he should know that, and uh, that means that anyone else can just build here immediately, profiting from this link that Purple built for us. Uh, now <clears throat> here, it's it's. I mean, I. I'm already out of iron, so I, I cannot build an iron mine here, but he, he didn't really know that. Maybe Teal had a Coventry card and Teal could build an iron mine here. So typically you want to avoid building a canal to a city that has iron in it. It's like a thank you move that you're doing, basically helping the other players out. Uh, so here it's really helping me. I I can immediately build in Coventry um, uh, my level two crate. I don't even need to build a canal. Okay, I mean, you could argue this canal is worth five points. It's not absolutely terrible. Still. Um, the builds are tight, and, and especially in four-player games, you, you, you don't have the leisure to just build extra canals. Uh, you want to build really the strict minimum. Um, and uh, here, Gray is making Teal is making good use of, of uh, his wild location card. He's going to build a beer here in Derby. Derby is such a nice location. I mentioned it before. Uh, he will, at, at his leisure, basically in start of rail, be able to connect to Nottingham to get coal, and then connect to Utok Cedar. This is already worth six victory points, and potentially more. This link here is often worth seven, eight, in rare occasions, even nine victory points. Um, so this is this is a very strong move, and uh, it seems then Atil changes his mind. But I think he ends up doing it next turn or something. Um, yeah, so the the, <clears throat> the scouting action in three players that I find actually more valuable, and it's especially because of this derby location that's, uh, that's available. It's also a bit strange here. Uh, Purple developed away their level two coal at one point. It's only built one of them and then developed away the other one. A level two coal is actually uh, not much worse than a level three coal. In fact, it's arguably just as good. So there is no real good reason to develop away a level two coal in my view. Uh, it gives as much money, a bit more income and one less point. So it's, it's very much even. Um, <clears throat> so in this situation, uh, I end up at minus four here, losing a lot of money, but it's just ahead of uh, rail. And I actually have two options. I could just immediately sell um, and maybe build a rail toward Valsal. It's worth five points. Um, it's not an optimal move because you, you want really to score more than five points with a link. But then again, I still have like one extra action. What, what else can I do? Uh, that's <clears throat> option A. So option A would be to build to Valsal. Uh, option B would be uh, to take an extra loan to go into rail with extra cash. Um, I end up hesitating here a bit. Um, not really sure what the best move is. Uh, be curious what you guys think in, in the comments. 
I end up just taking an extra loan, valuing the cash a lot at the start of rail. But kind of on, on reviewing this, not really 100% convinced. I mean, I have enough money to get one, two turns going into rail. And that's the most important the early turns of rail tends to be where uh, where you score the most points with the links. Um, so, yeah, it, it's important to get with 30, 40 cash at minimum into, into rail. Uh, but once you've that, I don't know, I could have also built the link to Valsol, to be honest. Uh, so I end up with uh, three income. Um, for comparison, uh, I mean, purple will still sell here, so they will end up higher. And teal is at uh, 11 income per turn. So um, I'm really playing like an almost broke way. Um, uh, and uh, yeah, let's just take a small break here. Uh, this is the scoring at Canal, but as I explained, you, you should really not look at this too much. You should add up all level two and higher industries in this uh, scoring uh, to, to see kind of who's winning, who's ahead, what's the real score. And for me, I have 41 points in uh, Canal uh, industries and all of these are level two or higher. So basically I don't have 50 victory points. I have actually 91 victory points plus uh, more than 60 cash. So uh, I'm going into rail with um, 91 victory points and a lot of caches. It's really strong. You want to score five points per turn. And uh, I basically, that, that, that would put you at 85. Now in practice, you often end up like 80, 85 points uh, or maybe a bit less, but more cash to compensate. Uh, I fear exceed this target. Even if you say uh, your level three iron will be overbuilt 100% because you're out of iron, people will target you. Uh, that would still leave me with uh, 84 points and a good amount of cash. So uh, this is like a, a good situation. And it shows really the strength of this brick strategy where you completely ignore coal, just go for iron and you get to score a lot of points in, in the canal. In rail, it's harder to, to, to outdo that. It's harder to score as many points because you're solo on the income track. Uh, you have not even developed away your level one call. So it's kind of awkward to, to, to go for call. You will need to spend the develop. Um, but uh, it's so strong in Canal that this basically carries uh, carries you on um, to, to win the game. Now, uh, Teal here um, doesn't have 49 points, but uh, actually 71 points. So that's respectable and he also has some money, but it's not um, extraordinarily good. I, I think there were some small inefficiencies in, in, in his build. Um, but yeah, so he will have the level two call available and he has a much higher income, 11. So he's getting uh, eight more coins per turn, which uh, it's basically like uh, for, for the eight turns in, in rail, he, he will get 64 more coins. That's not negligible, but um, I mean, 64 more coins is like two, two to three loans, basically. He's basically two to three loans ahead of me in that sense. Um, and uh, that, then purple here um, ends up with only, I think, 57 victory points if you uh, count everything. Now, uh, 57 victory points, it's, it's not enough to win. You, you need to be higher in the three player game. You have um, 17 actions. You need to be at 75, 80, 85 actions, uh, 85 victory points to, to be competitive. Now he has some money, uh, but um, I, I think there's some inefficiencies at the beginning as I highlighted before led uh, to, to, to scoring such a low score. Um, <clears throat> now it's the start of rail. In four player games, I highlighted this, it's very important to be early in turn order in rail, first or second player in my opinion. Uh, why? Because the uh, the call price is so low because you can double rail, grab all the valuable links around Derby, around Birmingham. Um, now in three players, it, it's a bit different. They're, they're, I feel like maybe I overstated a bit the importance of being first in, 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 uh, in three players. Uh, one of the reasons is I can anyways not access, uh, I cannot build links here in the north. So I anyway, don't get to grab the most valuable links. And uh, if you're a second player, you still get fairly valuable links around Birmingham. Um, yeah, of course the coal price, I mean, I was able to profit from very low coal prices. Uh, I spent only 24 coins for three rails. A bit later in rail, you would easily spend 25 to 30 coins to just do uh, one double rail. So one double rail action. Um, yeah, so that, that's kind of a bit on turn order, um, importance of turn order. Um, I think Teal here also, yeah, they could connect at any point uh, that they want to Nottingham and then connect to Utok Cedar. And based on turn order, they could then maybe even build extra rails. Um, and uh, Teal ends up doing something uh, a bit weird, uh, building a coal mine in Colebrookdale, but it doesn't sell. So it just like, the resources are just there for free for anyone else to grab. Um, not really sure what the point is. Typically, if, if you build this, you want that it flips instantly and um, that way, I mean, you get the money, other people don't get to, to, to use it. 
and uh, you get the extra income of the flipped industry, of course. So this is just a bit of a weird move to me. I, I don't really see why he's doing that. Like, does he doesn't he have not any other move? Uh, and then he ends up building another coal mine in in Redditch, and uh, then uh, I think this is this is a more acceptable move. Iron is very strong. There's not many iron spots. Um, although you could also say, you know, I'm, I'm not going to build any iron anymore, so maybe better that he targets an overbuild on me. But I think this is somewhat bit more acceptable than than this. Or it, it's just a bit weird. Why would you leave all those resources on the board? Um, yeah, you're basically leaving free resources. So purple instantly profits from it. Uh, no doubt, it just builds two rail for a small price of 10. Uh, and I end up doing the same. Um, now you could argue these links here, they're not super, super valuable. But um, yeah, I have a I have an industry card for beer. I like to go to Stafford and build beer there or build a brewery. It's a bit surprising here that no one built beer in Stafford yet. Beer is very valuable. We're all going for a beer strategy. We should be fighting for the spots and build beer as soon as we can. But I think just no one had the Stafford card at the beginning. These players are good enough that if they had the Stafford card, they would build it without without really without second thought. Um, so here, uh, Purple ends up building more coal mines. And um, if you do the math, a coal mine, if the coal price is low, it's really not that valuable. And uh, let me display this on the screen. Uh, you don't really want to be building coal mines when the price of coal is uh, below five or so. Uh, if the, pr the price of coal is at seven, uh, a coal mine is like, it's like half a loan plus a bit of extra on the income track plus two, three points. So that, that's okay. But if, if the coal price is low, uh, coal doesn't score you enough points to to really uh, compensate. Um, <clears throat> so uh, Teal here ends up uh, scouting. And actually, I probably think I should have done the move myself. I um, Yeah, it ends up being quite nice combination. So this is a typical combination where you loan and, you, you, for example, so Teal was lost in, play, in turn order. He uh, scouted and then built a, um, uh, a beer, or he could have also loaned. And I mean, if he had a Stafford card, he would have loaned and built a beer. And then he's first in turn order and does a quad rail. And uh, this is very strong. No one else gets to profit from your beer. You're able to grab here very valuable links in the north. Uh, I think he makes actually a small mistake here. He connects he, to Canuk for for getting access to coal, I think, but he, he could have gotten coal from connecting to Nottingham instead. That would have been stronger, actually. But still, he, he grabs there a lot of very valuable links. I mean, this one is worth seven points. This is worth six points, potentially more. Probably more because uh, you have an iron mine here that probably will be built. Um, and this one is worth five points, which is still okay, maybe even more. So uh, very good move here by Teal, uh, and something to look out for in your own games. This this uh, four actions in a row where you loan, build a beer, and then double rail, or, or in his case here, uh, scout um, and build a beer. Uh, I am I end up building here a bit of more links in the north because I'm like, well, this is already worth five and four points. It will probably become more worthwhile. Now uh, I realize in three players actually it ends up often being less built than in four players. In four players, you know, a derby would be 100% fully built every single game. You don't need to think about it. Um, but in three players, it's a bit different. Uh, some locations end up really empty and maybe links are a bit less valuable actually than in four players games. And here, uh, Purple builds the first coal mine. I think that's okay, but then builds a second coal mine at very low coal prices. I already said this, this is just not valuable. You're not scoring five points per turn and uh, the, um, the money value, if the coal price is very low, it's not high, so you shouldn't be doing this. And uh, Purple then builds a link to Stoke on Trent. Um, this is a thank you move. It's another example of a thank you move. You're, you're, you're not scoring many points, and then yeah, Teal has the Stoke on Trent card and just profits from from the link that you built uh, to, to, to build an, a level four iron mine. Okay, I mean, I'm kind of not unhappy. It means he won't be able to overbuild me, uh, but um, still, I, I don't think you should do these kind of thank you moves. Uh, at this stage, I am at um, zero income and I'm getting slowly out of cash. And this is what happens if you go with a no-call strategy. Uh, what you could do here is develop away the level one call and maybe another building, like let's say the level two pottery to go for the level three or a beer um, and uh, make some money with, with, with the call to compensate some of the loans once you reach negative income. Uh, however, I, I feel this is not worthwhile unless the call price is uh, five, six. Uh, and call price here has been two, three times very low, like two, one coin. And uh, then I, I think 
just ignore call and go with it. Uh, <clears throat> so uh, in this strategy, you, you, how do you still score points? It's mostly through links. Uh, the level one uh, pottery is very strong, so I, I build it here. Um, it gives you 10 points, so if you build it and sell, it's five points per action. Which, you know, as a, as a, a beer and iron player, you know, after the beat spots are taken and your iron is out, you really don't have many high value actions left. So you, you, you take what you can. Um, <clears throat> now I'm thinking here, oh, you know what? I'll, I'll develop away, I'll develop away my level one call and my level two pottery. My idea is I can build a level three pottery in Stafford. I have the card and um, I could actually also have built just a level two pottery and then overbuild it with level three. Uh, so I'm thinking that I'm gonna build a beer on the farm brewery and then sell everything to the market in the blue Crescer connecting from Redditch to, to the market and selling. And uh, I'm, I'm counting my actions, I have six actions left. I, I think I should barely manage, but uh, then I start doing the, the actual math and I have low amount of cash. Uh, I am a um, uh, very low income and I think I'm short five coins. On top of that, it could be that at one point someone sells to the market and steals my beer. Uh, so I'm actually not certain I'm able to pull this off. Um, so I end up not doing it. Uh, if this was like a competitive game, I would really have computed everything out in detail to have enough cash, uh, etc. But uh, this is a fairly fast game. I thought I had enough to pull this off, which is why I developed away my level two pottery. Uh, but in the end, um, in the end, I, I think I'm just barely short. It's just a bit too risky. Maybe with the right turn order manipulation, I would still manage, or maybe I just have just right the right amount of money, but it's very, very close. Um, so uh, I think instead I should have just uh, built a beer, built some double rails. There's still some valuable links left, not too many, but still a couple. Um, instead, I end up doing something a bit too complex for my own good, and uh, then I back out of it. I just uh, decide, well, too bad. Let's um, let's loan because I'm, I'm pretty much broke, and, and let's build some coal mines in uh, Burton on Trent. Uh, you see, in a four-player game, this this would be always fully built, uh, but in in a three-player game. There's a bit less building ongoing, and then, yeah, a coal mine is, it's only two points, but here it also give me two link points. Um, so it's actually worth four points, so it's, it's, it's not too bad. Uh, I was expecting people to build here, to be honest, but uh, I realized in, this is not, you can't expect this, and in, in, this is not guaranteed in a, in a three-player game. Um, so I'm thinking ongoing here by purple. And by myself, yeah. So in the end, I, I go very simple: take a loan, build a coal mine. Uh, so my income goes goes back positive. I'm back at two income. Um, yeah, pr probably not the ideal move, but uh, sometimes, yeah, under time pressure, you you just take the simple move. Um, it's very strange for me that Purple uh, didn't try to uh, build iron mines. There, I mean, five points is okay, not great. The level two iron, but the level three and the level four are really good. Plus, I mean. It's max price, you can overbuild anyone. Uh, and, and yeah, I'm not really sure why Purple is not doing this. Coal mines, they're worth less points. Uh, the money and the income he doesn't need at this stage. There's no links that are worth uh, five points or more, I think. Well, this this one actually is worth five points. Um, but uh, yeah, um, <clears throat> it's just a bit weird. Purple then try to build more iron. Um, both of them end up building level five crates, and uh, the the issue with level five crates is they require two beers. It's a bit awkward, and uh, they give extra link points, but it's hard to really capitalize on them. Uh, in two-player games, I had a bit of success with that, but in, in three or four players games, you know, it, it's hard to build all the links around Birmingham and then build your level five crate. It's 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 nice in theory, it just doesn't work in practice. So, for example, here Purple has um, four rails around Birmingham, but I have three as well. So. Uh, yeah, he only nets two extra points by, by building the level five crit here from a link perspective. Um, Teal ends up overbuilding his beer, fairly standard move uh, when there's no beer spots remaining, and then sells everything uh, he has. And we're, we're getting very close to the end of the game. Um, yeah, at, at this stage, especially if you go this strategy of beer and iron, you really run out of good actions, like three to four points. Uh, it's not rare that you score only three to four points per action, and uh, I think also like if you play high level industry, that's that's a bit of how you counter these beer and iron strategies. You kind of compete on rails at the beginning of rail to exhaust the good look, the good <coughs> rail, uh, the valuable links, and 
in the second part of rail, when the beer and iron player doesn't really have a lot of strong actions remaining, that's when you build your high level industries that are scoring a lot, like the level four cotton, etc. And uh, you can win the game. So purple uh, also builds a beer and flips it. And uh, yeah, we're very close to the end of the game. Um, I don't think I made really good use of these four links here. They're, they're probably suboptimal. I should probably have scouted and and try to play up north for more valuable links. Um, but yeah, there was free call, so whatever, I took it. Um, <clears throat> and um, yeah, still scoring some points. Uh, by the way, this link here up north is still worth five points. I don't know why Gray never built this. He, he should have built this uh, teal, I mean. Um, still a fairly valuable link. Um, yeah, and we're pretty much at the end of, um, of the game. Um, yeah, I, I had to take some loans towards the end of the game, but that's really not so bad. Uh, you get 30 cash up front and the minus three income when there's only two, three rounds remaining. It, it's really not uh, uh, that meaningful. And I have only five coins left and I'm, after selling everything, I end up at five income. So it, it's a very low eco game. And this is the highest I've been all game. Um, and yeah, at the end of the game, tiebreakers rarely matter. So really you want to be at zero cash and uh, also your your income level, it's, it's really not uh, that important. Focus on points that's... Uh, Five points per turn. That's that's really the basics. That's all there is uh, to it. And uh, now we do the scoring. Uh, let me accelerate a bit while people finish. I think they still end up building a coal mine and a rail or so. That it's not really essential anymore. Just the last two actions. Um, yeah, and this kind of concludes the game uh, with with scores uh, around 177 here for me. Sorry, let me just bring this back on screen. Uh, so that's uh, slightly above five points per turn. So uh, same as in four players, you want to score five points per turn uh, uh, and the two other players are a bit below. I, I think actually I didn't widen the gap. It's the same gap that already existed in uh, Canal. Uh, so I, I think these two players here, uh, the rail was okay. I highlighted some, some small points, but uh, the Canal was not as crisp as it uh, should have been. And it shows the strength of this, this low eco game where you really uh, play with very low income. I was most of the game around zero, sometimes even negative in, in second part of rail. And uh, it's still possible to win and to reach five points per turn. And that's kind of the main takeaway uh, for this game. Uh, I think most of the, the other players that I've seen play beer and iron, they, they also play coal and they end up with a high income, 10, 15, 20 income, etc. Uh, but yeah, I mean, in this case, Steel has 21 income. Uh, doesn't really matter for the score in the end. Okay, uh, that's it kind of uh, for this game. Um, leave comments below, uh, leave some comments or questions if you disagree on something I said, and uh, let me know what you want to see next. Uh, I'll try to, to do another four-player game, that's where I'm more familiar at, and uh, I'll try to find some competitive game with uh, every 140, 150 points. Uh, it will be really nice. Uh, okay, ciao.